Guys, my name is Efusa Iyawi, or better still, Dr. Efusa Iyawi. I'm a recent graduate of the University of Ibadan, and I was among the two valedictorians and best graduating students of the University of Ibadan MBBS class of 2023. I like music, I like sports, I like to party, you know, I like to go for parties, oh, and bears, and all that. Then I also like to, you know, play games. I like FIFA. So, yeah. So, going to medical school, I did not think that I was going to be the best. I felt like I was going to be like every other person because we're all coming from different secondary schools where we're all, you know, the best at our secondary schools. But as I went on, I began to you know see that i was doing well and i think that that made me want to do better um in medical school my medical journey was not without um a lot of ups and downs um, because there were times when i failed actually so i once failed a test i think my surgery my first surgery test i failed it Um, then I also had some highs where I had maybe distinctions, I had highs and tests, so there were a lot of ups and downs. And also, I also made friends, I had to do a lot of things, I served in even politics, I served as a congressman for my class at the point, and I went into some leadership roles, I coached a football team, I made music, I played for my fellowship, you know, I played the piano for my fellowship. And so I, it was actually a long ride. I think it took about seven and a half years um, to complete. So medical school for me was not just books. It was books with a lot of other things. One of the strategies that I think I used, and I think that that made me stand out a bit, was that I was quite close to a lot of outstanding students who were, you know, my seniors. So. I kind of developed a relationship with many of them and usually I talk to them whenever I want to enter a new posting I used to like ask them questions oh what do you think how should I go about this how should I go about that how did you go about this and I think that sort of informed my decision as to how I was able to take on that particular posting so I didn't just go in blindly I made sure that I went in with a lot of information at hand also, I focus more on what my lecturers taught, so I do not just, you know, read a lot of big textbooks. Of course, I read some big textbooks, but I focus more on what it taught me in class because I use that as a point of, as a foundation, so that I can build on it with some of those textbooks. So I did not just go into those textbooks directly. I used my lecturers' um, um, teachings to form a, a basis for my reading those big textbooks. Also, I make sure that I did not go into any exam without. I'm asking for past questions because past questions are ways to, to ensure that you are not just reading astray, that you are actually reading the right things. So I use that also. Um, one advice I would give to people who are interested in actually being the best is try and make sure that you connect with people. Connect with people who have been where you want to be. Connect with people who are above you so that you don't just do things on your own you know independently because it's hard actually it's a long journey i mean you cannot just go on your own it's it's it's, it's going to be lonely and you might end up making some decisions that you should not make because you do not ask the right questions so ask the right questions also become be very diligent in school i know you can do a lot of other things but when it comes to your academics do not take it for granted make sure you attend classes make sure you read as much as possible and make sure that you also you know discuss with people you can establish tutorial groups together so that you guys can talk about things that you don't understand you know you, you, nobody's an island of knowledge you can always learn from other people so i think that that's also one thing that i used one of the special privilege that i think i had was still this relationship that i see a mentorship good mentorship good relationship with lecturers good relationship with my senior colleagues like one, one of my first roommates when i crossed into clinical school he became a valedictorian himself and he sort of made me look at medical school in a different perspective he sort of made me see that i mean this is someone that i was roommates with and this is possible with him um, so why not with me so it made me uh, you, you know kind of focus and he also sort of guided me through how i was going to take on medical school challenges because 
Um, getting to a new face in medical school can actually be challenging. Crossing from preclinicals to clinicals can actually be challenging. So, but having someone there with you who has been there because it was a final year when I crossed, but he has been there and was able to just you know guide me through. Oh, this is what you should do. This is what you should not do. This is the things you should read. This is the things you should not read. I think those things were special privileges for me because not everyone was able to get pure access to him as as I did at that point. And also, you know, access to lecturers. At least I I was close to a few lecturers and. Um, they, they paved some way for me when it comes to you know um, um, asking them questions that that I felt like I was not you know good with when they taught me. So asking them questions personally also um, when you said this, what did you mean? You know, I think those also formed some basis for my understanding of a lot of concepts. But my parting notes for everyone listening to me now is that. Um, as you can, as you've heard, probably heard, um, we're two that created as the best graduation student. So it just shows that um, there's always room for everybody at the top. And um, don't because someone is there think that oh it's not yours, or don't even slight someone just because um, you feel like you want to be there. I mean, there's always room for everybody. You can always do it together. Make sure that you establish good relationship with people. I, I'm emphasizing relationships now because I know how important the role they played for me were so i think that get good relationship with people will establish join groups study groups that make you um edge edge yourselves to to victory in the end so i think um in the end i'll say don't give up and best of luck thank you for watching if you really enjoyed this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel thank you